in this role, uh, you would typically have um, employees requesting uh, services and materials in, in a self-service fashion. Um, they would also be the ones to confirm the receipt of that. And as such, uh, what you see here is the uh, launch pad. First of all, uh, let me just go back. Step. This is the uh, Neptune launch pad, which is, uh, allows you also to integrate existing Fiori apps, or if, you, if you're already using that with your business client applications, it allows you to pull it all together uh, in a nice, nice way, user-friendly for the, for the user. And going through the example, um, so the customer wanted a way that uh, users can, can see uh, shopping carts, requisitions they've created already. Um, I'm just going to create another one. Um, uh, let me just move this to the side here, which allows me to basically streamline the process of requesting what, what I need. Uh, in that particular example, uh, they were going to define the product category, the material group, uh, and one nice thing about uh, their approach was that they were using approved vendor lists. So once I choose that uh, and I'm starting to uh, select the vendor, uh, I can, if I know the vendor name, I can start typing it in. It gives me the results or I can search uh, using that restriction. Then who's going to pay for that? Uh, again, uh, I'm starting to type the name of the cost center. It fills everything around that into, into uh, the screen, into the form. I give the shopping cart as such a name. I want some electrical supplies uh, for the first floor, let's say. Um, and then I'm going to build up my shopping cart, my, the items I need, uh, let's say some light bulbs. Um, quantity and uh, a unit price, and of course I can can build this up as as I go along. Uh, also, if I expect delivery charges as part part of that, I'll, I can specify those, and I'm just building up my catalog this way. What I want. I would. The remaining questions to be answered are whether do I want this to be delivered, so reusing the delivery addresses in SAP, um, when I want it, and uh, that's basically it. I can have some notes to the vendor, say I refer to uh, a quote they gave me, uh, and some information to my, to my approval. Um, then they, they were uh, important for them was also to make sure that people understand the procurement rules. Uh, once I acknowledge that, I can send this for approval. And that's, that is it. So my uh, shopping cart, my requisition is created. I see the status. We are using the uh, standard uh, approval strategy within, within SAP. And uh, I'm just now switching to um, my uh, my supervisor, my, uh, the approver for that uh, shopping cart. And um, that will then show up in for, for, for him. Uh, can, he can review the, the information. Once I'm happy with that, I approve it. And that's my um, approval process already done. Uh, if I update the list here, so I can see, see now it's approved. And in this case, we have set up a, an auto ordering process. Um, so I will get a purchase order in, in a minute's time. So while that is running, uh, so I, I will see then the purchase order as uh, part of my uh, goods receipt list. This is what I need to confirm to, re to receive. Uh, I can just explain a little bit on, on the Neptune launch pad. Uh, so you, here you would see all of the uh, applications the users allowed to 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 do. Um, this is actually based on uh, authority within SAP. So
So uh, the Launchpad ties into your existing authorization management in SAP. And, um, and then I can switch back and forth between, between the applications. Now, I'll just close that. So this is uh, my application for receiving. Uh, I'll have a look, uh, refresh the list. Uh, and here is that purchase order. Uh, the purchase order was created. Uh, and when I actually receive the, uh, the goods or the services, especially in a situation where you have a sort of a decentralized receipt, uh, there's not a warehouse who is responsible to receive these items. So um, this is when this kind of application is uh, quite, quite important. So I confirm that I received all of that. Um, the delivery note number, if I have one, so enter that. And uh, that that is me done.